what is up guys my name is asteroid and welcome back to the next episode of our pokemon moon let's play in the previous episode we made it up here to the top of way like volcano park and we took on the trial of kawaii and in today's episode we're going to be trying it again because we lost in the previous episode we got absolutely destroyed and uh we'll see how it goes so i really want to make progress today oh he acknowledges the fact that we lost that was our first time losing a trial and then again, like, 50% of our Pokemon are weak to fire, so... <sighs> well, Astroid looks like you have failed my trial. The Totem Pokemon Slazzle is a poison and fire type, so she's weak to water moves. She also uses Torment to prevent your Pokemon from using the same move twice in a row. Good luck, I'm counting on you. The trial of Kakao- or K <laughs> Kawaii! You'll find that it's a bit different than the trials you've faced at this point. Of course you'll attempt it, right? So he just, he just gives you advice, and now we have to try again. Okay. Oh, we start at the final. Thank you. Thank you. The final dance. Okay, good. So we do we don't have to redo all the all the Marowak battles. <laughs> that Salazzle gets me every time. Oh, that's freaking beautiful. First David, now the Sal I bet the Salazzle's name is David. I bet it is. The black Pokemon. But wow. That's really spectacular. And the spectacular come totem Pokemon. Okay, so la So we start back at the totem Pokemon, which is good because I did, I was afraid we were gonna have to redo, redo all of that. And now our Pokemon are fully healed. Look at the flames on its tail, dude. I love it. I love it. One of the best Gen Seven Pokemon, honestly. Honestly, top top seven best Gen Seven Pokemon. Salazzle's up there. All right, so Grubbin, you you're a bad lead. Um, I am gonna try and T wave him though. That didn't work. You know, I was kind of hoping he'd go for like a taunt. Or go for a torment. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, let's go into Dirty Dan and try and lower this thing's speed. Because if we can get enough bulldozers off and if we lower his speed enough, if Dirty Dan goes down, then Rockruff can then outspeed it. And we'll be in good shape. Alright, and also we got we gotta save switch in with uh, Dirty Dan. I probably should have led with Dirty Dan, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be alright. Let's go for the bulldoze. Torment! Thank you. Alright, Dirty Dan should be able to live this turn. Taunt. Good. Keep on going for those moves. And there's the bulldoze. Going to be lowering both their speeds. Yo, that has so much damage to Salazzle. And now his speeds... Can we actually... Wait. Can we outspeed him now with Dirty Dan and just Oko him? I swear, if we pass this trial so easily after being screwed over last time... He's calling another ally. Oh no. Okay, so we one-shot the other Solandit. Let's keep going for it. I mean, he's minus speed now, so he might just outspeed. Oh no. Now we're tormented. Okay, so what we're gonna do now then. What we're gonna do now then is we're gonna go for the fighting type Z move. Since we can't... Oh, it's not perfective on either of them. Since we can't, um... Since we can't go for Bulldoze. I'm gonna go for it on the Solandit. Just because I, um, just because I already know that Bulldoze is going to Oko the Salazzle. So let's just get a bit of damage off on this Salandit. It's probably not going to do much, but I mean, we might as well. There's our Z-Power, nice, and fighting type Z-Move. Let's go, Dirty Dan, you got this, man. You got this. Oh, I'm pummeling. I don't know what today's question of the day is, but definitely make sure to answer it down below in the comment section. Alright, that did... it did more than I thought it would. Okay. Alright. So, were we toxic or were we poison gassed? I don't know, we're gonna go for bulldoze though. But yeah, I like the atmosphere. Like, you would think, like, when you first see, uh, Kawaii, you would think he's, like, a really serious dude. Can we live this, please? Oh, no, we're poisoned. There's no way. Shoot! You would think he's a really serious dude, but his trial is just a joke. His trial is just a joke. Let's go into Sean. So I think we should be able to outspeed with Sean. He's minus one speed. And Sean's pretty fast. Level 19. Alright, there is the rock throw. Please, it's hard rock boosted. Sean, you're probably going to outspeed. No, we, we still don't outspeed. Good thing you went for Torment, though, and not... 
poison gas. And good thing he, didn't, he, he went for, uh, yeah, torment instead of flame burst. Because then we would have been really screwed. Please. No. Shoot, any other bear. Come on. Special. Boy, you do not need more offense. You don't. You can already Oko anything on my team. That's not okay. That's not okay. That is far from okay. Okay, we're not living this. I mean, that's a plus one stab flame burst. We're not. Bro, we lived it. We lived it. Sean, you legend. You legend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, my hair's a mess. I've been having a bad hair day. It's like I woke up this morning and it's just, ugh. Ugh, okay. All right, let's, um, let's rock throw you. Do we outspeed you? I hope so. No, we don't. All right, we're gonna die to this land, but we still have our entire team to help deal with it. I'm just glad we got the totem Pokemon out of the way, especially with that plus one special special attack. It's very, very scary. All right, let's go into Cypher. We can Dragon Rage the crap out of him. Sweet, sweet victory, yeah. Actually, I, I might have spoken too soon. All right, come on. There we go, sweet, sweet victory, yeah. All right, let's care. I can't sing. Look at how adorable he is. You'd be a totem Salazzle. All right, yeah, Salazzle is is top top ten, B best Gen Seven Pokemon. Actually, I wouldn't say best, but he's one of the best. All right, we're just gonna wipe that off you. Y'all squeaky clean. You're not that big of a fan of, a, of, a, of, of the ground. Yo, look, he's so adorable. All right, hold up. Look at his mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. All right, enough rambling. Let us see what, what Kawaii has to offer us. Whoa, spectacular. With their keen observations, you were able to see even find differences in our dances. And you defeated the, the totem Pokemon with such ease. I mean, I wouldn't say that. The totem Pokemon is carrying a fiery MZ. It is yours now. That is going to be dope to have on my Salazzle. Thank you. Thank you for that fiery MZ. So, so now we have, we have normal fighting, water, and fire. The next one is grass. And you guys know what that means. Houdini's gonna be putting in nothing but the finest. Nothing but the finest of work. This is how you use the fire type Z power. Alright, I'm gonna try and learn this for myself. Alright, ready? Ready? Something, no, there we go. Okay. I kinda did it. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion, take these. Quick Balls! Alright, that's pretty dope. What's more, you may now use the ride Pokemon Charizard. Yes! So now we can fly. Charizard will lend his, you his strength and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. Alright, that's cool. I want to give Charizard a shot. Because now we could easily fly back to uh, the the Brooklyn Hill and pick up pick up the Scald TM. The Fire MZ, you should know. You should show it to the trial guide outside the captain's parade at the bottom of the mountain. It is time for us to return to our dance. The feelings of the lone people and our Pokemon and the true nature of Z-Power. The answers lie in our dance. And so we must dance on. Just dance. You'll be okay. Alright, is there anything up here actually before we leave? This is a really, 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 really cool place to have a, uh... To have a totem battle though. Alright, no items, unfortunately. So let's head back down the mountain and continue on with our journey. Actually, I think this is a good opportunity to give Charizard a shot. Charizard Glide. Yo, okay. So now, now we get to choose where we fly. And like, parts where you've been are lit up. That is really cool. That is really cool. Um. Okay, we're gonna fly. We're gonna fly directly to the Pokemon Center here. 
Because I want to heal up and then we'll head out. Yo! That's so dope. That is so dope. So unfortunately, they got rid of the glide feature. Or not, not the glide, the soar feature from Oras. I actually really liked the soar feature. And I'm kind of sad they got rid of it, but they replaced it. Like, honestly, I love the, uh, I love the whole ride Pokemon concept. It's so much better than HMs. Because, like, with the soar feature in Oras, I never flew anywhere. Like, none of my Pokemon ever knew fly. I would just soar everywhere, and it was beautiful. Now, I, I liked how you were able to control the Latios or Latias in midair. I thought that was really dope. But I like, I like this. I like this. All right. And also, I like the addition of being able to, like, in soar, you could encounter Pokemon in the air. And you could also, um... You could also, like, find the legendaries in the in the portals, in the Hoopa portals. Like, that was really dope. But that being said, let us continue on here and see what this upcoming ride has to offer. We're almost done with Akala Island. We've explored a lot of it. Oh, that's Fire EMZ. Congratulations on clearing Kawaii. 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 There we go. Trial. In that case... Alright, so now we got this nice and beautiful tunnel open up to us. You're free to pass. Catamala's trial is up ahead. Go along right and you'll find a lush jungle. So now we just have the grass trial and then we are done with this island. We're making a lot of progress in this game and I'm really happy about that. I know like a lot of people on YouTube have already beaten the game and I know I'm kind of behind. But I'm glad that, you know, we're taking this at a pretty decent pace. But like not, we're not going too sub, we're not going too fast, you know what I'm saying? What's that? You want to battle me even when I'm using my full force? Fine, there'd be every other trainer brought eight and then we could talk. Alright, I might come back. I might. What's here? What is this? Oh, hi. Zoop! Zagard Cube. I'm gonna try and go in here, see what this odd, oddly shaped building is about. Yo, I, that, was that an automatic door? Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Mmm, fine! We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through con conservation. In order to protect Pokemon, though, we must know a good deal about them and how they live. Right now, we are surveying the Stuffle that- <gasps> Stuffle? They live on Raw 8. The Foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we'd also like to know what data the Pokedex records about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register the stuff on Route 8 in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We will pay you for your work, of course. No. No, I I'm not helping you. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to carry out conservative efforts and care for Pokemon that have been hurt by bad people, like those Team Skull thugs. Slowpoke's tail is fully regrown now. Pokemon should be like family. Team Skull can't get away with crimes like this. Oh, it moves on the table! Hi. Aww. The Team Skull Scoundrels! Even if Slowpoke Tails are delicious, you can't go ribbon them off like they're yours to take! Sounds like Team Rocket. Alright, my hair! Oh my goodness, what is going on? What is going on? Uh-uh, not okay. Oh my goodness. So this is all Aether Foundation stuff. Let's head down here before we go any further. There's a fishing spot. Yo, can we just... Can we just surf and keep on going? Because there, there doesn't seem to be any rocks uh, blocking this area. We can just surf and go on forever. Uh, can actually be collected in Poke, Poke Pelago. Alright, can we surf here? No, we can only fish. Okay. So we, we really can't surf at all? No, it's not letting us. Okay, I, I mean, that's understandable considering there's nothing to stop us from just breaking the game and continuing on. You there! Yes! Yes! Is this? Okay. Okay. This isn't real life. <sighs> okay. A little bit of some backstory here. A little bit of backstory. I knew Chloris was in this game. Alright? I was spoiled. It sucks and I hate it. But I got spoiled about this. And... The entire time, like, legit, I, I was I was hyped for Sun and Moon, but then the moment that I found out Colrus was in, the, in this game, my hype escalated like crazy. Like, Colrus is the reason why I was really, 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 really hyped for this game. 
I mean, obviously it was a combination of a lot of things, but Chorus was a big factor. Yes! So now we finally get to see Chorus. Oh my goodness. Talk about throwback, and we're playing Black 2 right now on the channel, shameless plug, metronome lock. Ah. Oh, excuse me. No, he needs a way better voice. Oh, excuse me, I'm a scientist. My name is Chorus. The name of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is... I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. <sighs> so Chorus is now a good guy. Because I'm pretty sure in Black and White 2, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure in Black and White 2, he would bring out the power in Pokemon with like forceful methods. Like he would create these machines that would control Pokemon and bring out their max maximum potential. Kind of like, kind of like the Dark Ball from the Celebi movie. Now, he has, he's moved over to the, to the good side, and he now is focusing on the bond between trainers and Pokemon as a way to increase the strength of Pokemon. And he's not, he's not doing it through artificial means. That is beautiful. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Asteroid, is it? I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. We got Flame Charge. All right, sorry for the interruption, guys, but we are back. You have the TM pocket, but TM43 way inside. So I'm not sure who can learn Flame Charge, but I mean, if someone can learn it, then we can make use of the Fire EMZ right now. Actually, no. We already have Slated to make use of it. All right, cool. If you're able to use, utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with the Totem in the next trial. The trial in Lush Jungle. Z Power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? He knows what the Mega Ring is, that's good. Apparently there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Poke Pelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Astro, I hope to see you again sometime. Is that it? Is that all he does? I was hoping he'd be more relevant to the story. You know what, he's probably working for the Aether Foundation. Not even gonna lie, he probably is. Alright, so if we could find a Stuffle, I wouldn't mind catching one. We won't use it, but I wouldn't mind catching one just to have one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's another Salandit! I swear, if this is female, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, if, if our first encounter on this route was a female Salandit... Huh. <sighs> okay, we need to swap our Pokemon around because Grubbin is, um... Grubbin's reaching the high levels here. So we're gonna go ahead and swap our team around. And also, I want to see if anyone can learn Flame Charge. Hold up. Because if Solandit can learn it, maybe that wouldn't be that bad of an idea. He can learn it. Alright, we're gonna go use it on Solandit. Because I know Solandit is more specially offensive. Yeah, he has a white higher special attack. But I mean, it's better than Sweet Scent, so... Actually, maybe it's not better, because Sweet Scent could be used for attracting Pokemon. But then again, there's no Horde Battles in this game, so... It's probably not as useful. Uh, anything else we could possibly teach? No? No? Okay. Alright, so let's swap our Pokemon around here. Let's put Sanic up front. You know what, Sanic? You're, uh, you're suffering a little bit. Let's bring Sean over here. Cypher over here. There we go. Level order. So yeah, let me know down below, guys. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the question today, but let me know down below. What is your favorite character from Gen 5? Or what... Actually, you know, a better question. What is your favorite, like, returning character in this game? Because there's a lot of characters that are coming back from previous generations, like Cena and Dexio, we have Colrus, we have uh, Red and Blue, which was confirmed from the Battle Tree in one of the trailers. So yeah, let me know, which is which is your favorite reoccurring character from these games? So she has an Eevee, which is, okay, I mean, it's not a bad Pokemon, I mean, I like, I like Eevee, I like Eevee. And a lot of you guys were telling me, and I did notice this when I was playing through my Sun copy, it's, it's funny because they give you an Eevee egg when you can catch Eevee very, very easily on the same route that you get the egg. Um, so that kind of sucks. I mean, I wish that egg would have been, would have been something better. Like a new, a new Gen 7 Pokemon would have been nice. Maybe like a, uh, maybe like a, um, a, a Dewpiter. You know, that would have been dope. Sorry if you guys hear any background noise, by the way. Um, I'll try, I'll try and either edit it out or I'll try and mute it in editing, but anyways, what was I trying to say? But yeah, I wish the egg was something more, because like they just give you an Eevee, which is nice. I mean, Eevee's a great Pokemon, especially early on, but you know, 
you know, you, you can literally just walk out and go catch one and the egg isn't so special anymore. All right, so what's down here? I want to try and explore this as much as possible. All right, someone's trying to battle me. What's up? What's up, boy? Decking from a high place to a low place is as easy as chopping down bamboo. Okay, I mean, how much experience do you have with that? All right, are you a bamboo chopper? Is that what you do for a living? Well, what was his name? Mikey? Mikey the bamboo chopper? Oh, he's got a cherum. That's really that's. I just said cherum. He's got a bounce sweet. Not gonna lie, when I first saw bounce sweet, I was like, boy, that is a cherum. I, I legit think like I said that accidentally, but I, I'm 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 convinced. They they are too similar. Cherum and this thing are too similar. Way too similar. Like you look at their their design side by side, and you almost can't tell which is which. The only thing this thing is missing is an additional Cherum, because Cherum has two. But like, if you just look at the main Cherum and then you look at Bounce Sweet, they are almost identical. Like from their color scheme to their eyes, the mouth, their feet. I think Bounce Sweet is like the the closest the closest uh, Pokemon that resembles a previous Pokemon. You know, like like Jigarita has has some aspects of Bulbasaur. But that, that is nothing compared to the similarities between Bounce Sweet and Cherum. Alright, Trumbeak. I love Trumbeak. I love my boy Trumbeak. And if you guys don't know, I'm actually using a Trumbeak in my Sun copy. My team right now in Sun, if you guys are curious, is an Alolan Grimer named Slip. I have a Trumbeak named Genji. Um, a Brion named Sean. Which is very fitting because I have a Rock Rock named Sean as well. Um, I have a Grubbin named Slicer. Once again, I apologize for the jump cut. Um, the interruptions are real today, but as I was saying when it comes to my team in Pokemon Sun, I'm trying to remember what else I had. I already said Brion, Grimer, I think that's it. It's, it's Grimer, Grubbin, Brion, and... And I don't know what else I had. Shoot. <laughs> I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure I only have four Pokemon. Which isn't much, but I'm planning on catching... Uh, I'll actually, you know what? I'll probably catch a Stuffle. I'll probably add a Stuffle to my team. And my Sun copy. Because, like, Stuffle's one of those Pokemon where I don't, like... I don't, like, 100% like need to have it, you know? But I wouldn't mind using one. So there we go, we defeated the Trumbeak. Nice and destructive. Good job, Sean. Alright, what do we got? So I don't know if we're gonna be taking on the uh what's it, the third? The third no the fourth. The fourth island trial today. We'll probably wait till next time. But we'll, we'll at least get there today, I think is the plan. And then in the next episode is when we will actually do the trial. So I'm really interested to see, cause like when we first saw the normal the normal trial in uh in the trailers and such. You know, the trial with Lima and stuff and in the forest. I thought that trial was going to be the grass type trial with Malo, but it's not. Apparently it's not. So I'm not sure what this trial area is going to look like. I'm actually really curious. Milk tank. Alright, we definitely have to swap for this one. Let's go into Dirty Dan and go for that almighty fighting type Z move. I know Milk tank is bulky, but I think we, I think we should be fine. See, I'm curious to see like if... If that forest area wasn't actually the, the trial site for the grass, the grass trial, then I'm curious to see what the grass trial actually looks like. Bide? Okay, that could be a problem. If he lives this, that could be a big problem. <laughs> Come on, Mudbray. It's not stab, but you got this. You got this, my boy. And I also, I found out my, in my uh, sun copy that you can look at the power of the Z moves by clicking the little eye when it pops up. I should have looked at it just now, but I forgot. But it's actually really cool because, like, uh, obviously I'm sure you guys already know this. The power varies. Well, I did nothing. The power varies based on the move that you use with it. So, so like, long story short, right? Uh, like, a Scald Water-type Z move for my Brion was, like, 200-something base power. And it's just cool to see, like, you can see the exact base power and, like, what moves being paired with it, and it's pretty cool. And also, I noticed that if you have two moves, 
Like, if I had two fighting type attacks on my Dirty Dan, and I went for the fighting type Z-move, it would let me choose which which attack I wanted to pair the Z-move with, and there's like little sparkles on the one that's higher that is higher damage. So it's actually really, really fluent on how they incorporated Z-moves into, uh, into the game. Let's go into Cypher. We do have that Almighty Dragon Rage. I feel like that's going to do more damage than anything else that we have. So let's go ahead and do that. Dragon Rage, nice and powerful. Stomp. We're living this, right? Thank you. Cypher's not that bulky, but he's fast, he's offensive. And down goes the Milk Tank, yes. Good job, Cypher. So the fact that he gets Dragon Rage early on is just freaking beautiful, honestly. Eventually, obviously, we'll replace it with something else, but... Having Dragon Rage right now is awesome. An honorable, an honorable defeat. I lost, but it was invigorating. Yeah, she looks pissed off. She looks pissed off, damn. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab those berries up there. Is it gonna be another crab brawler? Nope, no crab brawler. Alright, good. Chestleberry, nice. Chestleberry, so we got three berries, even though it looks like there were... Looks like there were, there were a lot more than just three berries. I want to go over here and grab this item. Is it going to be a Stuffle? Show me a Stuffle. You know you want to. Nope, another Slandon. So I'm, I'm actually really liking the diversity of the amount of Pokemon that are on this island. Like, there's a lot of different types of Pokemon to catch. Especially like, with like the new Pokemon, like we saw, of course, Mudbray. Um, you have these Slandids, you have the Stuffles. So you have a lot more options on the second island. The first island was kind of dry when it comes to like new Pokemon. But I'm liking the options we have here. We're gonna skip you because I don't feel like battling you right now. Uh, let's go this way. Is this it? I think this is it. Hold up. I don't want to go this way just yet. Let's head back. Let's go to the Pokemon Center over there first. And then we'll head that way because I feel like that is the trial site. So yeah, we have pretty much gone full circle. Actually, no, that's not it. That's not it. Because I just saw the uh, the flag on the map. But you still got to go south. All right, so we'll head down there. But actually, I want to go check out that top area first. Oh, hi, Starmie. I love how there's uh, just like random Pokemon placed in the overworld. And they, they're actually like life-size. They're, they're scaled right. Naturally, there are lots of grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle. Do you know the types that are strong against grass? Yeah, all right. All right, what do you have to say? Who do you think we're winning a matchup between the Mass Royale and Crasher Wake? He's referencing Crasher Wake! Hey, Probably Crasher Wake. <laughs> uh, Poke Pelago, yeah. There's a Pokemon called Comfey that you can find in Lost Jungle that can, well... If you clear Malice Trial, you should spend some time research searching for Pokemon in the jungle. All right. Maybe we'll be able to find, uh... I mean, I don't think we'll be able to find a new team member. Because uh, our team is kind of kind of full right now, but... Alright, do we need more potions? I think we probably do. We're going to be taking on a brand new trial, so I think it's good that we stock up on some stuff. See, I actually do want to start... Um, I want to start shiny hunting in this game. And we're probably going to start live streaming it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to wait... Oh! Speak of the devil. So... You need adrenaline orbs in order to shiny hunt. And I wasn't able to shiny hunt earlier because you don't have access to be able to buy them in shops. But now, we could buy adrenaline orbs, meaning that we could theoretically start doing the SOS method and start shiny hunting in Sun and Moon on stream. So I do want to do that eventually. I might wait a little bit, just until we're a bit higher leveled, and then we'll start shiny hunting for some lower leveled Pokemon with these orbs. And we'll probably do it in my Sun copy because I don't want to waste... Uh, all my money on that in my moon copy. But yeah, you can now buy these, and we could theoretically start shiny hunting, which is really, really cool. So look out for those shiny hunting streams uh, sometime soon here. Alright. Because I've never actually shiny hunted before. I think I shiny hunted once in uh, in Oras, and it was like for, for an hour. So I do want to actually give shiny hunting a real shot and see how it goes. So we have another one of these places. Oh, hi. I don't, I don't want to battle you, honestly. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood to start battling people right now. What's up? We got no vacancies today. Uh, the boy staying there paid up two years worth of nights when he first got here. Though he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. He's a team scholar and pay well enough to live off of. 
Wow. So this man, this Team Skull member, bought a room and paid for two nights worth, or two, two nights, two years of nights worth. And, and now he's broke. Wow. We got ourselves a dive ball. Can we go around here? No, okay. So actually, I want to go in that room and just, just see if the Team Skull Grunt is in there. He's probably all poor now because he spent all of his money on his... Bruh, what? <laughs> Gladion? Okay. <laughs> when they said Team Skull, I thought, oh, it's just some random NPC to some random grunt. But no, freaking Gladion's living here. Get out. We go back in. <laughs> he just says, Get out. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We're not ending this episode just yet. It might be a bit of a long episode. I'm not quite sure though. Um, I wanna I wanna go over here. <laughs> He's just like, get out. He's so I love him. He's so edgy. He's so edgy. Best character. Welcome to the dream park, where dreams become reality and fossils become po What? Dream park? Is this like a Jurassic Park ripoff? Is this a Jurassic Park ripoff? Hello? Is that what this is? A Thunderstone, okay. Um, so we could get a Jolteon. But yeah, that's really strange. A dream park where fossils become alive? Jurassic Park, anyone? Wow, okay, let's go this way. Hello. The reason that Milo is always looking for the best ingredients in Lush Jungle is actually because she wants to make Olivia say once and for all that her cooking is the best. So Olivia is a stubborn bunch, isn't she? What's that? Hello? Is that a Wimpod? I love Wimpod! Ah, That's dope. Hold up. I gotta catch this Wimpod. I gotta catch- there's so many areas to explore right now. Uh, wait. Oh, you need Sharpedo to break those, don't you? Don't you? There's so many different areas to explore right here. We're gonna keep on exploring. Finneon. See, I do apologize if this episode is a bit long. Um, I just- I just want to finish this up and then- and then we'll end it off. All right, we could fish here. I just want that wind pod, though. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, we have train. All right, is it double battle? Double battle. All right, I'm down. Why did you turn around? I'm trained together with a genius next to me in order to beat him. It's a little, it's a little child. I was born a karate genius. I teach moves to, to my Pokemans. So <laughs> he's trying to beat this little kid. Karate family, Samuel and Guy. Guy? Like Guy Sensei? Are they trying to reference Naruto? The references are real. They both have a Machop. Alright, that's pretty dope. Sanic and Hawk. What a perfect, uh... What a perfect lead. Alright, let's Fairy Win. Or no, we don't have Fairy Win. Let's just Draining Kiss. And then we'll go for a... Bug Bite. That's not very effective. We'll go for a Spark. On that Machop. I keep forgetting that fighting resists bug. Keep forgetting that. Foresight? Alright, that's fun. Spark this man! Light him up! Hey, we got the paralysis. Cry chop, that's not gonna do anything. We have two bug types in the field. So we're gonna double team the other Machop. Just to make sure he uh he dies. Now, the only problem with us paralyzing him is that he might just have... He might just have guts. Does guts apply to paralysis? I can never remember. Alright, but... Oh boy! Seriously? I'm not playing these games. Come on! You gotta live on 1 HP like that? That's a bunch of BS. Alright, Draining Kiss. 
Knock this man out. But yeah, Sanic, I'm just looking forward to, honestly, any of our Pokemon evolving. And I would have thought that Grubbin would have evolved by now. Isn't that strange that Grubbin still hasn't evolved? I mean, it's a bug type. It's, it's the starting bug. It's supposed to evolve early on. I mean, I, I know we can't get Bickable until, like, the third island or whatever. But... Acrobatics. Yo. But, I mean, you would think that... We'd be able to, uh... We'd be able to, you know, evolve into at least a Charger Bug. Alright, so I think I might get rid of Thunder Wave. I mean, I kind of I kind of want Thunder Wave. But Spark is going to be Stab and Bite's good for the coverage and... Yeah, and I, I do, I do want, do I, actually, do I need acrobatics? Yeah, no, I'm gonna teach acrobatics. We might as well make him really offensive, because in the end, he's not gonna be, um, he's not gonna be used for Thunder Wave. He's gonna, when he's a Vicka Boy, he's gonna be really offensive and, and fast. Well, no. <laughs> he's not gonna be fast. Did you guys know that Grubbin outspeeds Vicka Boy? Grubbin, this little, little, little turd, this Grubbin, man, Grubbin outspeeds, outspeeds Vicka Boy. It's base evolution outspeeds its final evolution. I'm pretty sure Bikavol only has like 40 base speed. It's it's trash. It is so trash. Like, you would think it would be a fast Pokemon, but no, this thing is slow as crap. And it sucks, because like I thought he was gonna be really fast and offensive, but no. But he is actually really good and competitive. Like, you put him on a Trick Room team, and he's doing damage. He has I'm pretty sure he has perfect coverage. With uh with ice, HP ice, electric, bug, and flying, I think? I think it does have perfect coverage though. Anyways, here we are at the trial site. And I think this is where we're gonna be ending today's episode off, right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, definitely make sure to smash that like button for me. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll be taking on the fourth, and I was gonna say final, but obviously it's not. It's the final trial of this island. So definitely look forward to that. But that being said, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace!